Let's see. I'm Guy Mendes, and I'm Creative Lexington. So I like using the camera as a tool, as a way to uh, investigate what the world looks like, because the world is an amazing place. And I'm a, predominantly a black and white photographer, it's what I've done for 40 something years, but I also have for years shot color transparencies and then now digital color. And uh, so I do both. Uh, analog and digital, and I still work in the dark room, develop my own negatives, print my own prints, and that has its joys and satisfactions, and that to uh, such an extent that I'll keep doing it as long as possible, and as long as I can get the materials, which are harder to get and more expensive, but uh, they're still out there, and they'll, I think they'll all, always be out there. Photography to me has always been about possibilities and seeing more and seeing the world better and seeing uh, the in intricacies of it whether it's under your feet in your backyard or uh, halfway around the world you know I always look to see something I haven't seen before and to you know I don't want to make the same picture over and over again or uh, so I'm always thrilled when I see something new and it, it manages to get into the camera and out of the camera and um, be a photograph. So. I think that I learned from people like Gene Meatyard and Bob May is to go out and do it, do it knowing that you're at play, that you are searching. Don't do it with a preconceived notion. Look for the light, the background, you know, the, uh, the stage upon which you want to array your subject, whether it's a, you know, still life or a portrait or light falling on the forest floor that you've never seen before. Ansel Adams said the negative is the score and the print is the performance. And I like that because, uh, you know, it takes some effort to produce a beautiful black and white photograph. So. And uh, when I get one, I'm really thrilled and it's like fun. <laughs> so that's why I do it. A lot of time in a dark room, and uh, it's good to have music. <laughs> and um, there's plenty of time to think because it, each print takes you five to ten minutes to process, and then you may evaluate, take it out into the light, come back in, make adjustments, try again, and uh, uh, go buy some more paper and more chemicals. Please support your local arts and artists because we are Creative Lexington.